Occupaws is a guide dog training service that not only helps raise little puppies, but also helps place them with somebody who is in need of a little help. We're going to talk a little bit about what they do. This is Cheryl Hartung, a volunteer with Occupaws. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. This is the cutest <laughs> puppy. Oh my I gosh. I made the right choice. I said, could we get a nice light colored one? Because they show up so nicely they on television. do, and you match our couch. And look what we got. <laughs> <laughs> How sweet is this little girl? Girl. Yeah. Girl. I think she was the only girl in her litter. Oh, um, wow. I know for sure that she was the only yellow lab in the litter. She was a little bit of a surprise because both mom and dad oh, are black labs, but of course the yellow is the recessive. Oh, okay. So they obviously were both carriers for the yellow. So one, here, would you like a toy? And oh. this is, you know, we got it. Miss Rose, the Rose is her name. She's in the R litter, obviously. This is only day three for her away from mom and the litter mates wow. and you know she's staying in a brand new place which um i will get off track just a little bit so she's with puppy sitters right now okay the family that will be raising her i think is getting her right after the holidays i see um i think they had plans for that but they they have a yellow lab as well, so they really kind of had their eye oh, on yes. raising a yellow lab. So just all parts of Occupaws coming together in this little girl here. And that's an interesting uh, sort of segue into some of the services that you need volunteers for and that Occupaws provides. But there's puppy raisers, puppy sitters, and so there's sort of all these different sort of not only stages but levels of involvement exactly. of caretaking yes. that you could exactly. potentially oh volunteer for. And then what a cute way to volunteer. <laughs> Oh, sweet. <laughs> so to. what other puppy news do you have? So she is part of the R litter and um, oh, I should know how many uh, other siblings that are also going out. And then we had that wham wham this fall with two litters in two months. Yes. So the, that, the second of those litters is still about a month away now oh. from, from being placed. And then we have another mama dog who I think we just found out is expecting. Um, because I think she's due in March. Um, I can't tell you the exact gestation period of a dog, but um, so they just keep on coming. They just keep <laughs> coming. Well, it's the cutest continuous arrivals. <laughs> and we sure love it when you bring some pups and this yeah. one is just particularly gorgeous. Yes. So now one of the things we talk about oftentimes on this show, of course, is events. But right now with the holidays, the events have slowed down a little bit yes. for Occupaws. But there are lots of ways that people can help. Right. Well, and we're at year end. Um, and I know at least in, in our family, we start um, thinking about more about charitable donations mm -hmm. um, that we want to get in before mm -hmm. the end of the year. Right. And um, so I would really highly encourage that right now, uh, just a straight up donation. Uh, to Occupaws mm -hmm. and that they can put the money to the best use um, for the organization. I, I know it's something that I'm considering. I got their newsletter. Um, and then what I found was very interesting in the newsletter is that I could click a link and um, Occupaws is now encouraging you to take a look at all the puppies that are in training. Oh, you fun. go to the Occupaws website, occupaws.org, and you can see them. You can see their pictures, you can get a little short little bio on them, you know, what what kind of dog they are, uh, their growing up, their experience, and then you can decide, hey, you know, I, I, you might really like to <laughs> identify with Rose, a nicely yellow lab, or mm -hmm. um, you just find something that suits you. Mm -hmm. um, I like it better that way and when I feel like I know really where my money is going yes. and what it's doing. Right, you can kind of uh, sort of choose a dog then that you can help along yeah. the way. Yeah. and. In case you're not familiar with the Occupaz's services, they place these guys with visually impaired residents of Wisconsin for free. So not these guys at this age, <laughs> but the fully trained dogs <laughs> rather. Uh, and that's an incredible service because the cost of raising these puppies and having them trained for the type of service that they're doing is pretty, mm -hmm. is pretty large. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk a little bit on our minute left here of some highlights of 2019 
and goals for 2020 to give people a little bit of a vision about what's happening. And they're really very connected. Um, Occupaws greatly expanded in 2019, and that is our plan for 2020, is to keep going in that direction. We placed seven dogs uh, with clients, which was an almost doubling of wow. what we had done previously. Uh, we really want to get to eight for 2020 to uh, just serve as many people as we can. We have increased, I, I think I have talked briefly before about um, the Pause Forward program that mm -hmm. we have, which is in conjunction uh, with a correctional institute in Wisconsin, which I always say is just the perfect marriage because what do these guys need is a lot of time. Right. And what do those guys have? A lot, lot of time. time. Um, and we, or, we added another um, facility another correctional facility into that program so that we have even more possibilities there. Um, so I, you know, I would just say growth. We also now have, you know, people always say, oh, are you training them? And yes, I train them in some of the basics that you would if you had a dog, but mostly we're raising them. Right. And there are people who are professional trainers, and mm -hmm. we have six of those people now okay. who are training dogs that, that, you know, make that cut and we really do feel can become guide dogs. Um, and that also takes uh, a, a lot of money. Those, those are the professional people. Those those yes. people get paid. And the more dogs that we can have, and the more training we need, and it all runs in a cycle. Yes. <laughs> so you can puppy sit. You can puppy raise. You can train or donate to the cause to help pay for some of those services and trainers. And of course, you can go on the website and check out some of these adorable puppies to support. But boy, <laughs> what a treat having you, Rose. Thanks oh. for bringing her. I'm glad and it's to. A treat to have you too, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more coming up next.